This is the third watch update for the field report at Facebook or also at Pinterest. Okay, I'm just doing an update here just to kind of cover some real brief stuff. I don't know if it'll be brief, but we'll just try. Okay, so what you're seeing on the page is some of the stuff that we've been covering. Give me one second here. Okay, and and by doing so, here's here's where I left off with the last update. We were gonna do a website. We scratched that idea. I'm just gonna stick to social media till something happens. And um, not because I don't want to do the website, but I can't seem to get around some mobile problems. And that's been a problem for a while anyway. So um, it's gonna. It, one of the one thing or another, I'm just going to have to buy new equipment and start all over, and I don't know if I want to do that yet. So we're just going to go back to originally what we were trying to do with 2015 being about being fit spiritually, body, mind, and spirit cross training. This is kind of where we've been doing the kind of back and forth with the third watch update, news topics, but we really want to get away from news, okay? I mean, there are times it's necessary to cover topics, but not... We don't want to make a habit. It's not a staple of what we want to do. We really want to focus in on health topics because there has to be an alternative to, well, let's put it this to you like this. It, if you can't afford, I'm just thinking of the worst case scenario, you can't afford to get to the doctor. Or you can't afford to get medicine. There has to be another way around it. And believe me, the Indians did it, and so can we. Not that we have to be primitive, but there are essential oils. There are things that we can do that we can prevent disease. We can also uh, even cure some of our own diseases with the help of God's blessed surroundings, meaning minerals, uh, vitamins, things that we can do that God has given us the ability to use. And you must have the understanding to know how to do that. Um, and ways to do that. Now, over the summer, I I specifically have been focused in, on this because it makes sense to do that. We have like a, a more a mission to really look to help people who really are sick. I I too have been sick, so I know how important this can be when you're looking for a remedy, especially if you're not feeling good or if you have a sick baby. Um, you want the quickest, fastest relief possible. And if you can't get to the store or you don't have the ways and means to get that, you can find ways to do it. And we're getting that out there, those sites out there. We're getting links there. You can do your own homework from here. Um, I just want to put it out there as a platform for what we are trying to do at Pinterest and at Facebook. Okay, so now we got that covered. As far as these updates, some of the topics, of course, when we talk about body, mind, and spirit, we're talking about the body, of course. Physical health is vital. And your spiritual health, and because I'm a Christian, and I'd say most of you, if you're either on the fence about your Christianity or you're just not a Christian, I hope that I provoke you to at least watch these videos. That's not, I can't persuade or talk people into anything, okay? You couldn't have talked me into being a Christian any more than anyone else. Um, I came to that, I, I believe I was drawn by the Holy Spirit, but I came to that realization with the help of the Holy Spirit. No one could have talked me into going to church. So I know firsthand that I hope it provokes a conversation. I hope it provokes questions. It has. I'm very fortunate I've been able to have that conversation, but I want you to be informed on these topics, especially now, because these topics are relevant to what's happening in the prophetic news, okay, and when we say pro prophecy news, we're talking about prophecies from the Bible are happening in real time, and we know that the newspapers are covering a lot of topics, and it all can be pinned down to certain, certain verses in the Bible, and we've, we've noted that over and over before, but we're going to keep trying to use that as a platform. Um, what you do with it is up to you. I, I can't make you guys like what I like, okay? But I think I'm on the right page on some things. So, um, I, you know, I don't profess to be somebody that knows everything, but I do know a few things. And what I do know is our strengths 
uh, we're only as strong as our weakest link, and we must be strong as the days ahead. And what I mean by being in cross training, that means you got to be physically hit, fit, spiritually, body, mind, and spirit. And uh, your mind has to be right. We have to be sharp. And if we're not getting the right rest and things like that. So our focus is to not make this be the social media focus, but what you do outside of social media. What you do with that stuff out there is apply it. And that goes for me too. So we don't have to be um, confined to a computer. And the idea is social media is great. But if you're confined to a computer and you're miserable and unhappy, that's not the answer here, okay? So you should be able to take that information and do your own homework, or you might know this. This might be a repeat for you. Um, hopefully you can also give me feedback because I, I need to learn how to do stuff too. Sometimes I forget. So if anything, it's a reminder. And hopefully with the channel updates and the links that you see, you can follow them as you please. I would suggest... You don't wait for me to post it. Just go check it out for yourself. You know, this is not, like, I can't hold people's hands, of course. But at least if we generate that um, as a platform for health news and also topics, some current events, I uh, really don't want to do that. It's basically what you do outside of the social media is the focus. Body, mind, and spirit. Thanks again for listening to this Third Watch News update at The Field Report. God bless and have a great week.